This is One on One. Steve Adubato here at Rowan University. It is my honor to welcome Dr. Hamid Hosenzada, who is uh, joining us to talk about a whole range of important issues. You're an associate professor at Rowan University and an orthopedic surgeon. Dr. Hamid, which is what I can call you for this interview, right? Yes. Doctor, the whole question of orthopedic surgery and its connection, because we are here in this virtual reality center uh, at Rowan University, what is the connection between the work you do and what we're about to see in terms of virtual reality? Um, actually, virtual reality is a new technology that can be used in any aspects of medicine. Orthopedic surgery, I think, is one of the best fields for virtual reality. We are using the virtual reality technology with HoloLens for educating surgical techniques. Go back again, it's called the HoloLens. HoloLens. HoloLens, oh. okay. Show, could we do this, George? Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. This is, could you show us that first, doctor? Again, this, this, this is what you would be wearing, okay? You would be yes. wearing it like this. I have it right, Andrew, our great cameraman right here. So you're wearing it like this. So students are able to see what you see when you're teaching? Yes, they can be seen. And what about right here, what we're seeing behind us? Is this knee surgery? This is a knee surgery, a knee replacement surgery, the preoperative part that we are preparing the knee for beginning the surgery. This video comes from this GoPro. Oh, that's, oh, this is the GoPro, I'm sorry. Yes. Let's, let's, let's do this. Take a look at this, got this? Talk about this, what does this GoPro, and where, by the way, where is this GoPro on you? Uh, we wear this GoPro and fix it on our forehand, forehead and capture the surgery from the surgeon's view. This is the only way that we can capture the surgeries with the surgeon's view, which is the best view for education. And you see in the field, this is exactly what the surgeon is seeing. Why is that valuable from a teaching point of view? Yes. The current methods of capturing the surgeries are using the cameras in sciatic lamps. You mean overhead? And yes, and they capture the surgery from above not from where the surgeon is watching. You know, the person who is doing a job is seeing the best view. And the surgeon, while doing the surgery, has the best view of the surgery. And any tips and tricks he uses during the surgery is from his view, not from the sciatic lamp view. But when we use GoPro from over the forehead, right. we see exactly what the surgeon is seeing and the resident can replicate it exactly what has been done. Make this clear for us. This is the HoloLens. Yes. Now explain this, and I want to be very, I want to be very candid about this. What you saw, what you see, what the doctor sees and those who use this HoloLens yes. see, and our general executive producer is here, our team made a decision that what you see is so real, so raw, and let's just say there's a bit of blood there. Yeah. We opted not to do that. But that's also valuable, forget about broadcasting, from a teaching point of view. Yes. How so? Describe it. When we have the surgery films from the surgeon's view, we can watch those films with virtual reality technology in HoloLens. And with the application that this virtual reality team prepared for it, it can be played step by step. So the resident who want to, to learn the surgery can watch the film. Can you stop it at a certain point and talk yes. about it? And for playing or stopping, there is no need to touch it. You can do it by verbal command and ask the HoloLens to stop, repeat, or begin. So the resident can watch step of the surgery and then do the same thing on the patient at the same time. So you, you see, we are using the method of education of doing one thing at the same time you are watching. This is what happens usually in, the, in art education, not in medical education. But this is what is called, quote, applied research. Yeah. Hands on, right there. Yes. 
How has it changed what you do as an orthopedic surgeon, all this technology? How has it changed who you are and what you do? I mean, you didn't anticipate this. 15, no. 20 years ago, no. you got into this. You didn't anticipate this even, technology. Even uh, seven years ago, when I had problem with silenting lamp video capturing, I didn't have any substitute for it until the GoPro came, technology came. So the technology made it possible for us, and we didn't anticipate it at all, at all. How much do you get out of this when you do this, when you teach, when you perform surgery using this technology? What does it do for you professionally and personally? When I uh, do this, uh, actually it is, since it is the best way of teaching a surgery to a resident, the professor not only feels he's educating, yeah. he can assess the uh, capabilities of the residents at the same time. So you can find out about them. Yes, because now while doing the surgery, the HoloLens can capture the surgery that is being done by the resident, and it can be checked by the professor, and it is a way of assessment and evaluation mm -hmm. of the resident. You know, the other, last thing I want to ask you is this. You have to help me on this. As I'm reading, get ready for the interview, I see, what is ethnic specific knee design? Yes. What does that mean? Isn't everyone's knee the same? Uh, if you have normal knee and you are looking at your knee as a functionality of the knee, they are all the same. What does ethnicity have to do with the yes. structure of the knee? But if you look at your knee anatomically, different ethnicities have different anatomies. But the overall function is the same. Will you treat someone differently based on the ethnicity? Yes. When we want to do the surgery, when we want to perform an osteotomy, do a knee replacement. Or the first thing again is that? Osteotomy. Breaking the bone and changing the alignment of the um, whole limb is called osteotomy. Or doing knee replacement or doing a ligament uh, reconstruction. We have to pay attention to the difference in anatomy, especially in knee replacement, because Anatomy is completely different in different ethnicities. Why and we have we know this? Sorry for interrupting, Doctor. How long have we known that ethnicity has something to do with the anatomy of the knee? Actually, uh, we know it for more than 10, 10 years, but there have not been uh, a good research for it. Some people have done a research in one small group of uh, people and published it. But we try to gather the data from all around the world and uh, analyze it. We gather the data from 32 centers from all continents and all, almost all ethnicities and analyzed it and found out that there are many differences in knee anatomy between different uh, ethnicities. And final question, the information you have, the research you do, it helps different patients based on the protocol the decisions you make on behalf of what they need? Uh, the result of, uh, of our research is translated into different designs of knee prosthesis. So currently we have different designs, but all of them are based on the uh, anatomical analysis of a certain group of people. They are all the same, almost the same. And not, all, not all knees are the same but we are, our needs are not the same. So we are translating our data into different knee designs which can be used for people. And uh, this ethnic knee project is the true application of HoloLens educational program. Doctor, we thank you for enlightening us on these very important developments which affect all of us uh, who are treated by the medical community. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Wells Fargo.
The Turrell Fund, supporting Right From The Start NJ. The Nicholson Foundation, supporting Right From The Start NJ. NJM Insurance Group, Fedway Associates, Adler Aphasia Center, and by the Northward Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.